you know, I love my job. I love the raw excitement sometimes of making findings, but also I like explaining the findings to people to whom it really matters. The great thing about doing genetics is it, if you find mutations, you know those mutations cause the disease. From there, it's an easier process to find out what happens next. So by finding genes, you find the beginning of the disease. In the mid-1990s, I was introduced to a family, and th this family was the Iowa kindred. After about five years of work, we found synuclein mutations. We're still finding new genes now. It's really remarkable. Families with a simple genetic cause are reasonably rare in the population, certainly of the order of 1% of the total number of Parkinson's disease. To do research, to do good clinical research, you need patients who want to be involved in research which could help them. You know, if people are worried about having a genetic history of Parkinson's disease or want to get involved in research, we can help them get involved in research and uh, we can possibly, if they have got a genetic cause, we can help them find out what the, that genetic cause is. What I'm going to do now is talk about one of these special families that we worked on in the States called the Iowa Kindred. My research focuses on understanding how mitochondrial dysfunction affects the survival of brain cells in Parkinson's and then ultimately how we might then be able to use this information to find new drugs and treatments to help people that are affected by Parkinson's.